teeth and scratch marks are not necessary with the right rules in place for tugging. Your dog can learn how to tug politely without hurting you. Hello everybody! I wanted to make a video on tugging. I think tugging is a fantastic way to play with your dog and if your dog enjoys tugging, you should tug with them as often as you like. It's a great way to bond, great way to reward your dog in a very high energy and enthusiastic way. And I absolutely do not believe that it makes them aggressive, which sometimes is claimed. However, I see a lot of tugging mistakes being made and tolerated by owners that make the tugging less of a pleasant experience. This especially is a problem if you have a large dog who makes these mistakes like re-grabbing the toy, like refusing to give up the toy, like not returning the toy. And I think we should talk about what rules you should put in place to make tagging not just joyful, but also safe for both of you. Okay, the first rule is you're only going to start tagging when I tell you to. I often see owners, they have a toy and then they do something like this, holding it down, the dog's jumping up, trying to grab it uninvited, that's very unpleasant, yeah? So I would make that a rule that no matter how enticing this looks, you're only going to grab this toy when I invite you to. Get it! Good job, Kicks! Good! Good job! Good! Good girl! Good! Out! You already sh saw me show the second rule, which is you out when I tell you to out. I'm not gonna lift my dog up at this. I'm not gonna say give, give, give. I'm gonna say out once and then the dog's gonna drop it. Give it. So, I'm not gonna do this. Give, give, give. Out. Great. Get it. Nice. Nice job. Good job. Oh girl, go ahead, go ahead, out. The next one is more rule for the human than for the dog. So I often see people talk with talk toys that are very, very small. Yeah, that maybe are even smaller than the dog's mouth. That's a very bad idea because without question, your dog is not always going to grab it with perfect accuracy and he is going to grab your fingers if you use two small toys. So, for a dog like Kix, tugging with this toy is a bad, bad idea, yeah? So I want to use at least this size toy, can easily be a lot bigger to tug with her so that she has a lot of places to grab that are not my hand. If I offer her this, you can see this is about the size of her mouth. She's going to grab this and with high likelihood eventually going to hit my fingers with her teeth. That brings me to the next rule, which is no regripping. You see that when Kix grabs the toy, she grabs it once and then get it. We tug with it without her going after it multiple times, yeah? Re-gripping is something that eventually is going to get your fingers touched with teeth or bitten. Out. There. Finally, and 
important timing rule is bring back the toy when I throw it. I do not want to try and reward my dog by throwing him the tuck, and he goes for it and then disappears and lays down and chews it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. See? Good girl, good girl, nice job, nice job, good girlie, yes, yes, you did good girl, you did good girl, yes, yes, yes. If your dog struggles with one or more rules, train them in isolation. Do not try to fix them while playing a game of tag. If, for example, he does not out his toy, Work on outing objects separately from tugging at first. Tugging is hugely rewarding for your dog, so if you allow him to carry on with his mistakes during the game, he will not see a reason to change what he is doing.